Hi guys, welcome back to our mathematics tutorial and we want to continue from where we stopped in our previous lesson. My name is Peter C. Dr. Junior, your math tutor, and I'm also an instructor of mathematics at the University of Liberia. So we want to continue with question number nine. We did not solve question nine in the previous lesson. We should have, but we did not. So question number nine looks a bit, a bit easier. Question nine is h of x is equals to 2x to the fourth power cut of x or over uh, 3x squared. Now we can just simplify x squared and x to the fourth power. So it means nothing. So we can we can rewrite this x squared can go out. We can cancel one or two from there. So we will have two. Now this cut can be rewritten as cos of x over sin of x. So that is we can have, now this is x squared, this is cos of x divided by 3 sin of x. Now, since we were asked to use the implicit differentiation and the natural logarithmic function to find its derivative, we can just replace this h of x with some, some values y and take the ln of both sides. So we take the ln of y and we take the ln of 2x squared cos of x or over 3 sine of x. Now again, we know that ln of a over b is equal to ln of a minus ln of b. So this is our a and this is our b. So we have ln of y equals to ln of 2x squared cos of x, which is our a minus ln of 3 sine of x. What's next? We can also open this up and also open this up. So we can have ln of y equals. Now this is ln of a times b. Additionally, we can upgrade this to be ln of a times b times c is just equal to ln of a plus ln of b plus ln of c. So no matter how many factors you have there, you can just take the ln, the sum of the ln of each factor. So yeah, we have one, two, and three factors. So we say ln of two plus ln of x squared, ln of x squared plus ln of cos of x. And then we'll move on this side, minus ln of 3, and then minus ln of sine of x. So we can just drop this 2, 2 comes downward, because of this rule, ln of a raised to the power r is equal to r ln of a. So now we can find the derivative. The first one is 1 over y, y prime. Because y is the name of the function, so we must always attach y prime. The derivative of a constant, ln of 2 is a constant because we do not have x so this gives us zero two ln of x ln of x is just one over x right so this two is right here and then plus ln of cos is one over cos of x times cos of x which is the derivative of cos of x which is minus sine of x and what is next ln of three is also zero Minus ln of sine is just 1 over cos, 1 over sine. So you always rewrite it, 1 over what you have. Then you differentiate that times the derivative. So the derivative of sine is just cos of x. So now we can simplify our problem. So let's simplify. So we have y prime over y equals, this is 2 over x. And then minus sine over cos or over cos. And then what is left, we have minus this cos over sine over sine of x. Great. So now we can find the LCD y prime over y. The LCD for these three factors or these three denominators. It's just x times 
cos of x times sine of x. That's the LCD. X goes into this one. X will cancel. You'll be left with cos of x times sine of x. So it's 2 cos of x sine of x. And then cos of x goes into this. Cos of x will cancel. So it's like saying x sine of x. So it's minus x sine of x times sine of x in the numerator. Then we have minus sine of x goes into this. Sine of x cancel. You left with cos of x. So it's cos of x and x times this one. So it's just x cos of x and also cos of x. So let's further simplify y prime over y. Now what do we know right here? 2 cos of x sine of x is just equal to sine of 2x. That's the first one. And then here we can have minus x sine square x minus x cos square x. All divided by x. Now, sine of 2x is just equal to 2 sine of x cos of x, which is the same as cos of x and sine of x. So we divide this up by 2. It means sine of x cos of x is just equal to sine of 2x all over 2. So y prime over y is just sine of 2x. Now this 2 can just go within the numerator. So we just be 2 and then minus. So what we can do, we can factor out x and x. So minus x, we can factor it out. So we'll be left with sine square x plus cos square x. What do we also know? Sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. So that's what we also know. So this is being divided by x sine of 2x. So this y prime over y, we can cross multiply. This y can be multiplied by this 2. So we have y prime is equal to 2y. So that we bring in the y value because we know that we replace h of x with y from the beginning. So y was equal to this function. So now this one now is sine of 2x minus x. Now this whole thing is 1. So 1 times x is just x. Or over x sine of 2x. So now we can just work with this one. y prime is equal to 2y. Y is this. So it's 2 again. This was x squared. Cot, cot of x. But cot of x is just the same as saying sine over cos. But let's rewrite it first. Cot of x. Now down here was just 3. So all divided by 3. So divided by, uh, that's a multiply by sine of 2x minus x all over x sine of 2x. We still want to simplify further. We still want to simplify further. So this cot 2 times 2 is 4x squared. Okay, this x can cancel this. You can cancel 1 from here, so you just left with x. So this is cot now is cos of x all over sine of x. And then times sine of 2x minus x all over this sine of 2x here. We, we, we had it right here. It was 2 sine of x cos of x. So this 2 can cancel 2 from within there. You left with 2. 
this cos can cancel one from here as well. So now we will have y prime to be 2 sine of 2x minus x all divided by this is sine of x and sine of x. So it gives us 3 sine square x. So this is actually our final answer. So you see how we try to reduce the problem. So we, we for 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 trigon let's say for trigonometry functions, derivatives involving trigonometry functions, we will solve more problems on derivatives involving trigonometry functions. But you must have an understanding of the trigonometric identities because that's that's one of the ways that you'll be able to simplify the problem if you understand the trigonometric identities. And we have a unique video for the trigonometric identities. So let's move to the next problem. Uh, we... So question number 10 says f of x is equal to 2x plus 5 raised to the seventh power and then 3x to the fourth minus 8 raised to the fifth power so again we want to bring in ln take the ln of both sides so we can replace this one first with y so this is now 2x plus 5 raised to the seventh power 3x raised to the fourth minus 8 raised to the fifth power so we can now take the ln on both sides ln of 2x plus 5 raised to the 7th power, 3x to the 4th minus 8 raised to the 5th. So what do we do? ln of a times b is equal to ln of a plus b. So ln of y is equal to ln of a, this is a, 2x plus 5 raised to the 7th power. So we can just drop this 7 plus ln of b, 3x to the 4th power minus 8, raised to the 5th power also, we can just bring this 5 down. Now we find its derivative. So this is 1 over y times the derivative of y, which is just y prime. So this now gives us 1 over 2x plus 5 times the derivative of 2x, which is just 2. Remember, you have your 7 plus this is 5. We we'll differentiate this. It gives us 1 all over what is in 3x to the 4th minus 8 times the derivative of 3x to the 4th, which is 3 times 4 is 12x to the 3rd. So now we have y prime over y to just be 7 times 2 is 14 over 2x plus 5 plus 5 times 12, so it's um, 5 times 2 is 10, and then 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1, 6. So it's x to the third power all over 3x to the fourth minus 8. So we can find the LCD on the right-hand side. So y prime over y. The LCD is just 2x plus 5 times 3x to the fourth minus 8. So if this goes into this, this will cancel, you'll be left with this one. So it's 14 times what we have here. 14 times 3x to the fourth minus 8 plus this goes into this. So this and this cancel. You're left with 60 x cubed times 2x plus 5. So we can further simplify multiplying 14 times 14 times 3 is like 10 20 30 38 and 42 right or you say 3 times 4 is 12 and then 3 times 1 is is 3 plus 1 4 so it's 42 x raised to the fourth power minus so 8 times 4 is 32 
and then eight times eight times one is is eight eight plus three is eleven so this is y prime over y and then 60 times let's erase this one 60 times 2 is 120 120x cube and then 60 times 5 5 times 6 is 30 which is 300 this first one is x to the fourth power and this is s cube all divided by 2x plus 5 times 3x to the fourth minus 8. So we can simplify. Now we cross multiply. So y prime equals this is y. So let's simplify. This is 120 and then um, this is 42. So it's 162x to the fourth plus 300 x to the third power minus 1 12 all over 2x plus 5 times 3x to the fourth minus 8 so we can break in what is y now we know from the beginning y was just this expression which was x 2x plus 5 to the seventh 3x to the fourth minus 8 to the fifth and then times 162x to the fourth plus 300x to the third minus 112 all over 2x plus 5 and then 3x to the fourth minus 8 so this can cancel one from here you left with 6 this also cancel one from here you left with 4 so finally we can have y prime to be 2x plus 5 raised to the 6 3x to the 4th minus 8 raised to the 4th and then 162x to the 4th plus 300x to the 3rd minus 112. So this is our answer. Okay, so thanks for watching. In the next lesson, we're going to do the last two problems. And then we move to our next topic. So thank you so much. See you in our next lecture.